left, Ronnie on the right. Ronnie, we saw round one with his uh, unique flavor of HMT Unicorn running a crane splash for mostly gossip. Uh, it's a hyper aggressive. HMT well, I think guy. the curry favor as well. Well, yeah, I was going to mention the curry favor too, but it, it, I was talking to Ronnie between rounds, and he said that uh, it's really, it's really the gossips that the uh, splash is for. So three gossips and one curry favor is his crane splash. He's basically using the gossips to um, to prevent the opponent from playing counter spells, so he can push cavalry reserves through. Yeah. Uh, now on the the left side we've got Anish, and now Anish's deck is. He always plays Weird Brews of Phoenix, and uh, I just took a quick glance of, at his deck last round, and he's running um, a Dragon Splash. He has at least one copy of Karmic Balance, which is the card that um, I believe you can only play it if both your dial uh, bids were the same, I think. Yeah, if your honor bid is equal to an opponent's, and then uh, it kind of works like Resto, except instead of discarding, you shuffle back in, and it works for both players as well. So I'm going to assume this is kind of like a... W between Kyuden and Asawa and that ability, I think he's looking to... If, you're, if your opponent has a card advantage, you can equalize really easily with Karmic Balance. Uh, also, if you have a bunch of libraries in play, you can use it yeah. uh, to start grinding out uh, either card advantage or bleeding them of honor. So I think this is kind of like a Dishonor Switch deck. But it has a lot of the standard elements of a of a competitive Phoenix deck. So it's got Tadaka as its restricted card. It's got uh, you know Supernatural Storm and all the usual uh, aggressive little Shigenjas as well. So Nish just plays Prodigy of the Ways and passes. This is his only play. Ronnie plays Moto Youth, and that's the only play for him as well. <clears throat> the bid is five. See that one copy of Curry Favor again. We'll see if it ends up being uh, as useful as it was last round. I don't know if he has any charge. Yeah, like buying buying just the one character screams charge to me, but I guess uh, he's trying to set up for the next round, I guess. All the other characters, they're, if he does they're buy more them, expensive. he's only going to... He has to put yeah. a fate on them because he knows that Anish is going to yeah, go then, water off the first round. Yep. So that's too much of an investment to put a second character in play, exactly. regardless of whether you have a hand that can really right. help you through this round. So oh. Nish with the Void Ring, political, oh, that's very good flip for, uh, for Ronnie here. So appealing the fortunes as I mean, a province. There was, there was a better flip he could have been. Yeah. Well, that's going to allow him to play probably Komoko. Okay, clarity of purpose to prevent Prodigy from bowing. Going to trigger the appealing the fortunes, put Komoko into play. But I think he's also deciding if uh, Ayuchi Dayu is actually going to be better. No, I think Komoko's better here because if uh, now he can actually race uh, against Anish here. Because right. if Anish tries tries to go out, like say Anish flips over, um, I think Endless plane, Planes, Endless Planes might trigger mm -hmm. Komoko if he attacks here. So he can potentially get multiple attacks, especially with the Curry favor, right? Right. So I think he's he's thinking about fire, perhaps. No, it's going to go with the Earth. Fire would, fire would have also been a good one. Yeah, Earth, military. Did Ronnie forget Six. to lose it on her? Uh, no, HMC starts with uh, 11 on her. Yeah, no, but didn't he just, was not undefended? Yeah, so he should be at 10. So Shinjo Ambusher into play. Yeah. Yeah. So a bunch of triggers happening here. HMT uh, giving Ronnie a second attack, a military attack that is. Going to also trigger Explosive War. Explosive War does have a window that happens before the window on Upholding Authority. So he's going to get to select cards before, uh, before Anish gets to trigger Upholding Authority. And I think that was also an undefended attack by uh, Anish there. So Anish does lose one honor. Triggers the Earthwing, gets another copy of Clarity of Purpose. Uh, not that uh, important just now. You, yeah, Shinjo you discard Ambusher. before. Shinjo Ambusher prevented the discard, right. right when right. he played into the conflict. Yeah. Shinjo Ambusher, one of probably no, but the what best. Did, what did, he, what did uh, Ronnie discard from Spoils of War? 
Uh, another copy of Shinjo Amateur, probably. So that, I guess maybe he has a third copy in his hand. I just yeah. Uh, Amateur is pretty handy. Well, I mean, if he's discarding an ambusher, his the rest of his hand must be loaded then. Yeah. Going for a water conflict here. There you go. Revealing Goodbye. Border fortress. So no defenders on Ronnie's side. Yep. Now that's one of the downsides of the border fortress is that your opponent does get the seeker trigger fate uh, if they are running a seeker role. Now. Now, does Ronnie want to break this, actually? I guess the answer is yes. Uh, you know, might as well, right? Because now you're in a racing situation, but that's going to be good for Ronnie, too. Well, actually, uh, no, probably not. Ooh, I, I don't know if uh, Ronnie wants to do that. See, th here's the thing. I mean, that's going to be awkward because... The ring, the ring effect happens after a break. Kamoko will trigger, and then the ring will trigger. So I, pro I promise, Robbie's been playing this for two years, playing L five R for two years. So but he's he's not been playing this deck very long. Yeah. I think that was unintentional. I don't think Anish exactly uh, realized that interaction, but it ended up really good for him. Yeah. All right, so military fire. Meditations of town. That's fine. Province. That was probably the one he scouted. Yeah, Anish is going to defend here. Oh, charge Dayu. Oh, this is going to be... It's going to be the crazy favorite play? Okay, so that's going to be a plus three, I think. Ayuchi Dayu. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, that's, that's going to give him a plus three, plus three on it. Now, the problem is Anish has a, against the waves, and there it is. Yeah. a four with a Dayu's ability. Uh, Dayu being a Shingenja, unfortunately, is going to let the Against the Waves bow in. <laughs> and then he's going to he's gonna replay the Against the Waves wow. with Dayu didn't get right. kill off. Wow. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew Against the Waves would be so brutal against the uh, so brutal against Unicorn? And, you know, you, usually... Uh, the and Ronnie's debating here whether to put another character into this conflict or just yeah. wait and try to take a. And you know, we we discussed this last political round. conflict after this. We discussed this last round too. I mean, this Ronnie's deck is an all or nothing deck. Like if you if you're not breaking two provinces on turn one, you're not doing very well at all. You know, you look if if Ronnie doesn't break this province, then you're looking at um, oh. Yeah, if Ryan doesn't break this province, then you're looking at uh, him losing so many, so much in card value, and yeah. then he's just going to have a board of one Shinjo Ambusher. But does play a press of battle. Press of battle is uh, going to let him bow the Prodigy of the Waves because it is not unique. And now Anish with no fate uh, doesn't. He's not going to be able to play. I don't think he's uh, going to be able to do anything here. What's that? I think this conflict is over. Yeah. So he did Bonsai, right? So he's at 6-0, to zero. yeah. So there's the Curry favor. He hasn't played it yet. Oh, he yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So he, was, he, he wanted to play it on Dayu, but the thing is, it only works... If, if the bowing. character would bow as a result of conflict net resolution yeah. and not already bowed, if, even if it yeah. was in the conflict. So if you didn't think that card was awkward and bad, <laughs> now <laughs> you realize it's uh, it's actually a lot more restrictive. So it's honoring uh, so that 
Yep, the ambusher has some strength for the final. And the other advantage Ronnie will get out of this is take claiming the favor. Yep. So now he, he gets to a political conflict. He does have the captive audience in his hand, actually. So he can switch this to military. He can he can go ahead and break this right now. Yeah, there's nothing he can do, but I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so. Captive audience. Okay, so that's going to switch it to military. So all of a sudden, he's got three military. He doesn't even need to play any cards. Oh, he doesn't even need to play anything. Yeah, right. to break the conflict because he honored it. And, and uh, the investment was significant. Yeah. Wow. So, I mean, I didn't... Man, I didn't think Roddy was going to break more than one province, but now turn two, he's already on the stronghold. All right. Well, we, we avoided putting the crab mirror match on on stream for this match yeah. uh -huh. because we didn't want to be commentating for a full-length right. thing, but <laughs> instead we might be getting a 15-minute game. Well, we also, we also mentioned that the crab game has a high likelihood of... Uh, of ending halfway through round three, too. Yeah. So, yeah, this, this might be an hour difference between the, the end times for these games. All right. Well, round two. Uh, does Ronnie have first player now? Yes, he does. Yeah. Okay. And on the stronghold already, but uh, is, is Seeker of Void? Is it Seeker of Void? Yeah. So I guess uh, I guess Kuromori is going to be the, the uh, yes. stronghold province. I think that's safe to say. Yeah, I don't know. I see. I see a lot of players uh, running Kuromori on the province row now, but yeah, yeah I think it's safe to assume that it's a, it's going to be on the stronghold. The other thing to note is that uh, any display of powers uh, most likely are dead draws. Who spends out all of his yeah. fate. Uh, Tetsuko, Tetsuko is going to be really good in, in this situation here. Because uh, the fact that all five rings got taken in the previous yes. round means there's no ring fate to be had. Anish doesn't have any uh, fate anyway, so... I but Anish has two fate. Anish has... Sorry, Anish, yeah, you're right, has two fate. So it flies back, back for both sides. Storehouse for a card... Now, I think he might have been looking for another captive audience, uh, but he didn't draw it because... He does have the cat reserves, but not the yeah, money for it. doesn't have the fate. So it, it really does come down to whether or not Kuromori is the stronghold province. Um, if it is, this is going to blunt the force of this attack significantly. It's going to make the whole match just a pain in the ass for Ronnie. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Ronnie has the... Uh, Enough cards to push through a military no. conflict here. Oh, interesting. Goblin sneak. You know, that's... Uh, I mean, the funny thing is that actually might... Uh, I don't know if I do that there. Like, yeah. your clarity, you kill your clarity. Well, uh, one thing to, do, to note, actually, is that if Kuromori is a stronghold province, that's going to give Anish one fate from the secret fate trigger. Oh, that's a good point. So it, I mean, he he may have that may give him the opportunity to play one uh, one card in the conflict, yes. or if he's just able to defend without uh, much fuss, then then he can use it uh, on the backswing. He's gonna do a Shimbo Ambusher solo poke. That's uh, that's cool. Yeah, Kuromori. So the political is going to give... Uh, it could be problematic if he does not remember his trigger here. Oh, did he forget? He hasn't yeah, it looks it, like he forgot. It yet. Forgot the secret trigger. We'll see if he catches it later and Ronnie's nice enough to, uh, well. to let him take it back. Oh, he changes the ring type. Interesting. What? I'm so confused by all of this. So he changed it to water because, uh, I guess, Feral Ningyo is in his hand? I suppose, but... And I guess he's going to use it to ready Prodigy of the Waves as well, but 
I don't know, man. If I'm Ronnie, maybe I'm secretly happy that uh, I feel okay about that. this. But but see, now the problem is, uh, I think what uh, Anish can do now is win the Earth Ring, and then Solemn Scholar is triggered. And he's, I guess he's got the covert. Yeah. No, he can't do the covert. Someone no, no, him. but. But, I mean, even if he doesn't have Covert, he can just try to force Ronnie to block. Right. And, or if Ronnie doesn't block, I mean, he, then Anish gets the Earth Ring anyway. Right. And that turns on the Solemn Scholar. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's, probably, that's probably what we're going to see here. Doesn't... Uh, oh, yeah, he has no money. I yeah. Like, he has a cloud, I think, but... Yeah, Political Earth. Midnight Revels. Oh, awkward. Well, that's fine. Yeah. I guess it's lucky that uh, Anish didn't stand his prodigy. I, you know, Midnight Rebels sometimes is a blowout, but like I feel like seventy or eighty percent of the time you have exactly this situation where you, the 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 character, the highest cost character, right, is so just uh, Anish just realized that he never did his trigger. Oh, Ronnie he just remembered the yeah. secret fate. I mean, in the last round, Ronnie did yep. do some takesy backsies with uh, yeah. The I, timing on the yeah, Komodo. It's a, it's a casual format, right? Like I think, I think in a conflict tournament, I would also let oh, yeah, my for opponent sure. have it as well. The fan <laughs> trying to go for the break here, perhaps. I imagine. Yep. It's a curve blade. All right, discards curve blade. That's actually pretty huge for Ronnie. Or not for Ronnie, but for Anish. Well, it That's, is uh, considering potential. he already burned Koromari's yeah. ability. So, so now the the question is: uh, Does Ronnie have enough cards left in his hand to uh, push through the? Yeah, to push through a, a conflict win. So what does he have? He has a curve blade, two fine katanas. Uh, he wasn't going to be able to play both Curve cur Blades anyway. Or, yeah. I don't know, never mind. I think Curve Blade costs one. It's all just free. Uh, Ronnie does have the Imperial favor, so... Uh, yeah, I think if Ronnie attacks with both, that's going to be 5-6 strength to start with. So, like, I would have been... In this game, I'm, I'm thinking back, surprised Ronnie discarded the other Ambusher. Yeah. Just knowing you're probably going to end up in... Kumari and that ambusher. Yeah. I mean, they'll probably change it right off the bat. I guess it won't matter. So Anish did use the uh, the prodigy of the waves ability yes. to ready. So void ring, military. Kuromori's already been used, so that means that Ronnie doesn't have to worry about this getting switched to a political fight. With Tetsuko in the conflict, that means that anything that costs one fate to play is going to be uh, it's not going to be able to be played in the conflict, so no against the waves, no cloud the mind. Uh, although if he did have cloud the mind, he probably would have played a pre-conflict. Um, but importantly, no supernatural storm either. Well, no double supernatural storm. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, no double storm. The first storm is going to give him a plus three. So this is a military of six on Ronnie's side. No, six sorry. to six. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, yeah, six to six, right? Yeah, six, two, three, four, to six. six. That's is interesting. So yeah, start with the fine katana. So five to six, fine katana going on the Shinjo Ambusher. Then puts in a curved blade, so that's going to go to eight. And I do think that there's one supernatural storm in his hand. Yeah. So yeah, here comes the challenge on the field. So it's going to be... Uh, so 
So if the challenge on the fields happens, it's going to be four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. Yeah, it's, the problem here now is that a challenge on the fields, it's going to be exactly the same amount for both players. Right. Because uh, Anisha's, Anisha's prodigy is six strength because of the supernatural storm. Yeah, so you couldn't challenge four. on the fields of Prodigy the Waves because uh, it would be 8-8. Eight eight. to eight. Yeah, very cool. So there's no way Anish could lose, or sorry, there's no way Ronnie could win. So he's going to have to go after the Adept of the Waves here, which uh, is going to bring him to 7. 7 to 8. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think Challenge of Fields might have been a bad play here. I think he just wants the the uh, wants to take one of maybe the prodigy out from right. the next round. Yeah. So he void rings the prodigy, but that lets uh, because descending home means that adept of the waves gets to attack as well for oh, one more conflict. <laughs> I think you go after the firing here. Go after the firing and you honor a depth of the waves. Cons or do. Actually, I think uh, I think Anish wins the game here because yeah, he's just going to use Supernatural Storm to go to five. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. Well, uh, despite breaking three provinces on turn one, that, that that didn't work out. Yeah, ultimately having a having a strategy that really relies on you breaking the province by turn two, like any stumbling at all, results in your opponent just stabilizing and then you not being able to do anything about it. Yeah, so that's the, it's going to be a quick round two.